Hey guys, if you're experiencing an issue trying to sign into your Xbox account, then keep watching this video as I'm going to show you exactly how to fix this. So the first thing you need to do is head over to your start menu and just search for settings and then click on the settings window. From the left hand side, select apps and then click on installed apps. Now in the search box at the top, you just need to type in the word edge and it should come up with Microsoft Edge. From here, click on the three horizontal dots and select modify. Then you'll get this window pop up, go ahead and click on repair and what this will do do is reinstall Microsoft Edge to your computer so you'll need to wait for this installation process to complete. Now if you don't have Microsoft Edge appear in this list here then you may have accidentally deleted it in which case you'll need to head over to an internet browser and search for download Microsoft Edge and then click on the official Microsoft website. So from this website you'll be able to download Microsoft Edge directly to your computer you just need to click on the download link and then go through the steps for installation. Once you've done that come back over to the settings page and you also want to do the same for this web view to runtime. So I'm gonna select the three horizontal dots and click modify and once again, select repair. Once you finish with that, come back over to the search box and this time type in Xbox and you should be able to see the Xbox and Xbox Live application. So what you're gonna do is click on the three horizontal dots next to Xbox and press advanced options. Scroll all the way down to the reset section and you want to go through these two buttons here. So we're first gonna click on the repair button and give that a few seconds to complete. And then you also want to do the same by clicking this reset button and selecting reset. So once you've gone through these two steps for the Xbox app, you then need to come back to the previous window. And once you're in your installed apps, once again, search for Xbox. And this time we're gonna do the same for Xbox Live. So click on these three horizontal dots, click on advanced options, and then scroll down to reset. And once again, press both the repair button. And once that's finished, also press reset and confirm by pressing reset. Now, once you've done all of that, you can try signing into your Xbox account to see if that's now solved the error message. If you're still encountering an issue what you can try doing instead is coming over to your start menu and searching for services and then clicking on the services window from here you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and right at the bottom you'll see these xbox services so there should be four xbox services in this window and you need to double click on each of the services make sure the startup type is set to automatic then click apply and make sure the service status is set to running and then we can press ok and you'll also need to do the same for the other three as well so just double click on each one change the startup type to automatic press apply and then make sure the service status is set to running so you can just click the start button like so and then press ok and you'll also need to do the same for xbox live game and also the network service at the bottom down here so once you've done that once again you can try logging into the xbox app and that should have now solved any issues you are having if you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one